You know, the first time we tried this, dude, we were so close. And the second time, even further away. But this time, I really need your support. You think we can do this? Steve. Let's go, round three, here we go. Welcome to my third and final attempt to complete Pokemon 151 in just 151 minutes. And like always, if I fail, I have to give everything I collected away to a subscriber. This time, I'm at Hawaii PopCon, an awesome card convention all the way here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I'm in a big room full of big Pokemon and big dreams. Last year at this same event, I attempted to finish the Evolving Sky set in just 48 hours. And just when I thought all was lost in the end, and a miracle happened. Well, I have something to show you. You did not go and get these. Are you kidding me? And? Oh my God, are you kidding? <laughs> Rayquaza VMAX Alt Art. The last card you needed for this set. We wow. did it. Yes. We did it. That was insane. And over 10 million people watched a grown man cry because he finally caught them all. You didn't do that. And today, I need another miracle because right after I finish meeting some awesome fans here, the challenge begins and we have to get it this time. I cannot lose three times in a row. Oh, and a huge shout out to Jaden and his dad, a couple of fans who gave me one of the first elite trainer boxes I'm gonna be opening during this challenge. And Jaden even signed it for good luck. I need all the luck I can get, so this was perfect. From there, I head to the main floor to pick up a few more ETBs before we start the timer. Can I pick up four of the uh, 151 ETBs? 200? $200 later, and we're ready to go. All right, we got it. Now, I may look really excited to you, but in reality, I'm getting really nervous. This is gonna be nuts. Let's get nuts. The big pro here is there's a lot of vendors. I've already seen some 151 on the floor. Again, it always comes down to those final two, but we gotta start with opening these packs, so let's make it happen. Inside one of the side rooms, Steve, my timer has been waiting for me, and he's already upset. Pat, please tell me you went to the bathroom this time. What's that? All of a sudden, I hear somebody call my name. We got a card you need. Wow, these kids are amazing, except, wait, is that a jinx? <laughs> no. At the beginning of each of my last two failed challenges, somebody else gifted me a jinx card, and I mean, I'm not superstitious, but... Hopefully that doesn't jinx us this time. No, I cannot think like that right now. We need to stay positive. Are we gonna finish this challenge today? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got this. <laughs> That's awesome. And now I prepare the table and get the ETBs in a position for maximum efficiency. Steve's not so sure about this. And I take one more moment to clear my head. All right, here we go. Two hours and 31 minutes. Here's Pokemon 151, take three. Let's go. Immediately, I can tell that something feels off. Is it me or is he just ticking faster than normal? I can feel the nerves going through me. There's so much riding on this and it kind of feels heavy. I even struggle a bit to open the first box. I'm already flustered. I gotta keep going though, because here is the plan. First, I'm gonna open up all the boxes, except for Jaden's. I'm gonna save that for last since it might be a lucky one. Then I'm gonna open the packs and sort them into number order by their tens, like the tens, twenties, and thirties, and so on, before I put the cards in order into my binder. This strategy worked so well in round two that I was able to shave 17 minutes off my first attempt, so there's no need for me to change it up right now. Unfortunately, as I open these packs and start sorting, I seem to be moving so much slower. Here's me the last time, and here's me now. What is going on? Thankfully, on the fourth pack, Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? I get my first hit. A full art Zapdos, which is pretty decent. We take those. We need as many hits as possible because any of the big hits that are missing will mean bigger trades and bigger dollars spent out on the floor. And let's just say the last time, just from these boxes, we pulled some crazy stuff. Let's see if we can get just as lucky this time. I open the fifth pack and then the sixth pack, the seventh and eighth. There are no more hits. And I start psyching myself out at this point and my hands. My hand is literally shaking. What is wrong? But all I could do is keep going. And with two hours and 22 minutes left, finally, another hit. Alakazam EX, let's go. And in the next pack, we get another pull. Kangaskhan EX. Now we're starting to gain some momentum. We need some more big hitters though. And just a couple minutes later, finally. We got the gold, we got the gold. A gold psychic energy, one of three golds in the set. Bring it. Then with 218 on the clock, we get one of the biggest pulls I could find. Yes. Look at that right there. The Blastoise EX Special Art Rare. That is hot, even though he's in water. And in the very next pack, we do even better. Squirtle and a Arbok double hitter pack. I'll take a two for all day long, except for the fact that I don't have all day. Thanks, Steve. I opened several more packs and no hits, but I need all the cards anyway, so that's not too bad. When all of a sudden, I hear a familiar voice behind me. 
It's those same kids from earlier, and they have something for me. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Yo, they found me an Omanyte character rare, which we haven't even pulled yet. Dude, high five, high five, high five. We didn't get it yet. Thanks, guys. Why are your hands wet? Are you going to the bathroom? We're very, uh, yeah, we're sweating. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's all good. Thanks, guys. No worries, though, because even though their palms are sweaty, on the surface, I look calm and ready. And now I want mom's spaghetti. Sorry, I got carried away there. No more games. Soon after that, we get another oh, great pull. Get the Mew EX. That is a great card. And finally, I feel the momentum building. I'm sorting a bit faster. My jitters have gone away. And after a few more good pulls here and there. Oh, and the Ninetales EX and the Needle King. Let's go. Oh, and the Blastoise EX. Let's go. We got one box left. Now we're on to Jaden's box. Two Pat, good luck. Let's go, Jaden. Jaden, did you seal this? What, this dude. what happened? Okay, finally, plastic's off. Let's rip these to see what we got. Sorry, Steve. In the first pack, no hits, but that's okay. Second pack, boom, there we go. A full art Golem EX, that's perfect. Let's go. And then, a few more packs later, this happened. Yo, oh, dude, Jaden, let's go. Giovanni's Riz and the Zapdos EX, that is so good. And although the rest of the box didn't have any huge hitters, we got some important cards that we definitely needed. Yo, Jaden, let's go. And now the tedious part, putting all these cards in number order, which is the last step before we put them in the binder and head to the floor. The first time we tried this, I got to the floor with one hour and 10 minutes to go. The second time I was faster with one hour and 27 minutes to shop, but unfortunately I had to go pee in the middle of the challenge, the bathroom was closed, and then I ended up crying on the floor. Oh no. We'll see where we end up this time, but one thing's for sure, I didn't drink as much water. And if I have to, I'm gonna pee in my pants. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, I think. Anyway, with exactly two hours remaining, I hear the voices again. They're back with even more cards. Okay, I, you guys can't just keep giving these to me. You gotta, here. No, it's fine. No, 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 it's not okay. You, it is okay. No, no, no. So Tangela, I have the Blastoise. Okay. The Zapdos oh, okay. EX, are you for real? Where are you guys getting these? I can't even fully understand what they're saying right now, but all I know is they have to take something out of my binder for being so generous. What do you guys want from here? You don't oh, need really, nothing. really nothing. No, pick at least one card. I keep sorting while they look through my binder. I watch most of his videos. And if that's true, dude, you're probably watching yourself right now, which is pretty meta. Anyway, shout out to these kids, their parents, their teachers, whoever made them great. Good job. Seriously, please. We need more of that in the world. Oh, and there's one of the moms now. Good job, mom. Honestly, I don't even know what cards they took from my binder, but I hope they were good ones because they deserve it. Dude, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. And finally, after going through every pile, it was binder time. This is now my third 12 pocket white edition binder from Vault-X. Let's hope I get to keep it this time. Like before, I already had the names and numbers of the Pokemon preloaded because last time it was a big brain move, even though I lost. Also sleeves, because on this channel, we don't practice bad binder behavior. We got the Bulbasaur at number one, then the Ivysaur, number four is Charmander, then Charmeleon, then we got the War Turtle. And as always, I can see we've got a lot of holes to fill. But if I ever had the best chance to find what I need, it's right here at Hawaii PopCon. And as I fill out more of this binder, I can't help but wonder what would happen if I lose this thing again. I've already lost twice, and as a punishment, both of those binders were recently given away to subscribers watching my live stream. But more than that, if I lose again, my overall record will be six wins and six losses. And this losing streak is getting Getting really expensive. There's no stopping me now. Third time is a charm. There's no way I'm gonna go three losses in a row on this set. There is no way. There's absolutely no way. Need a ran, need arena, and I need to stay focused. Why? Because Steve's getting mad at me. He knows time is ticking away. And after several more minutes go by and the main pile in front of me starts to disappear into the binder, I take a look at the big hitters we have so far. And yeah, we're doing pretty good. Not as good as last time, but definitely better than the first. Then I recheck the pile of commons one more time just to make sure I didn't overlook anything, which of course I did. The Squirtle was in there and the Licky Tongue. How did I miss those earlier? Caterpie, you trying to hide? Not this time. After that, I put all the big hitters into the binder and... Let's see where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 
40, 41. 41 cards, that seems like a lot. In one hour and 18 minutes? Not great. I, this, this is gonna be nearly impossible, but we can't give up. We got a lot of help from friends here. We just need to go out on the floor and find some stuff, so let's go and find some stuff. We're in the end game now, people. It is now or never. Let's do this. As I rush onto the floor, I try to find my bearings because wow, this place is huge. I mean, look at that Gengar back there. Thankfully, it doesn't take long because I find some familiar faces. Yo, what's happening here? What's up, guys? Hey, I know this guy. That's right, we've got a Pokemon legend in our presence. It's Owen, who helped me finish the Evolving Sky set last year, and this dude was a hustler. How much is the Machamp? Machamp, that's 85 to 100 right now. So you need 150. Oh, and of course, the other legend, Ando, AKA Unlisted Leaf. I like that Steve is the, this is the Alolan Steve. It is Alolan Steve. I do yeah, like yeah. that. As much as I'd love to catch up, Steve ain't stopping. So I've got business to do. And that's when out of nowhere, this kid with the champion sweater shows me something. Yo, what's your name? David. David. David's got the SIR Erica's Invitation. A big hitter like this would be amazing. Meanwhile, this kid is sprinting for his life to see what all the fuss is about. Anyway, after a couple of minutes, David finally found something he was looking for. Yeah, you could take that. That's my Mewtwo V-Star from Crown Zenith, which is technically worth more than the Erica, but not to me right now. So yeah, it's a deal. Okay, this is going crazy here. He's got the card party binder. We got the Erica's invitation. Oh, Steve dead. Steve. Steve had a little accident, but he's okay. I think. While putting Erica in the binder, David comes back with another card. I need that one too. So he gets to look through my binder again. Meanwhile, Owen found me a Charmander illustration rare and my mind starts to explode. Okay, let me- You have multiple trades going at once. I have 10 trades going at once. Most of the time, this is not a- So you're used to this kind of thing. I'm used to this. Okay. This kid is wild, I love it. Still overwhelmed, I take a deep breath and get back to David. Okay. He's got two cards that I need now, the Bulbasaur and Ivysaur illustration rares. He likes my Marnie, so I'm gonna make him an offer. And I'll trade you both of those for this one. He's not convinced and he keeps looking through. All of a sudden in the corner, I see a set of smaller hands come in with some more cards that I need. Wait, whose hands are those? Let's check the other angle. It's the Sprinter Kid. I love how everyone is trying to help, but now we've got three trades going at the same time. This is crazy, almost as crazy as what David says to me next. What's that? Yeah, I could buy him off you. I'm shocked because that is a baller move right there. Didn't see anything, so pay me instead. 60 for both. I think that's fair. Right then, Sprinter Kid comes back with more to show me. I need all three of those. And just as quickly as he came in, he disappears. Seriously, where did this kid go? Anyway, I pay for the cards from David, fist bump to make it official, and boom. Bulbasaur and Ivysaur character rares, which I put right into the binder. And just as I begin to get organized, chaos breaks out. Chaos. This kid hands me a stack of 151 packs just because he wants to help. Are you sure? Bro. Thank you, man. Dude, I love this. This is great. Then Disappearing Kid reappears with two of my cards. I don't even know how he got my binder, but he wants my Marnie and Urshifu alternate art for a couple more cards that I need. Meanwhile, Owen's asking me which big hitters I'm missing. Uh, Alakazam and the Charizard Blastoise. I have the Blastoise. She's not wrong, and I'm super grateful for the help. Oh, Blastoise? Wait, is this the right? Oh, I put it in, I put it in the wrong spot. What the heck? That's my fault. This is the Blastoise that goes here. Ugh, I'm so overwhelmed, I forgot how to count. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Yeah. The kid with the packs, that's right, he's been so patient. This is crazy, this is, this is crazy, okay. Owen shows me a Charizard X full art and a Charmander art rare. Okay, I need those. Then I sign a quick autograph for this family on the other side who's been waiting super patiently. Thank you guys, thank you. Disappearing kid comes in again and we make a deal. Okay, these are for me now? For, and what was your name again? Michael. Michael hooked it up. We got four. We did a trade. We're doing more trades than buying than last time, which I think is a good sign. Okay, I need to close with Owen now. Let me pay you for these. Oh man, the pack kit is still here. I didn't forget about you, I promise. Okay, and then I'm gonna open the packs that were just given. Woo! This is fun. Um, Focus, Pat. Just get it done. First up, Owen. Do you have Venmo? Yeah, we have that. Venmo. You said 75 or? 75. Okay. Payment done. Next, the packs. And what was your name again? Samson, you're way more patient than I am. Thank you for that. And right before I crack the first pack. And we're gonna open them right now. Samson, can I have you open a couple for with me? Yo. This kid rolls up with a Charizard and Alakazam special art rare. Two of the best cards in the set. So of course I had to ask. How did you get those already? I have cash. 
Let's okay. Go. Well, I'll have to trade for those in a minute, but I have to get back to Samson's packs first. All right, let's see what we got. I also need uh, a couple comments. Oh, the War Turtle. Do I have that already? Let's see. No, I don't. Dude, that's crazy, man. Thank you. A War Turtle art rare on the first pack. That's huge. And in the next pack, Slowbro, Diglett, Machamp. Dude, I need the Machamp. Two for two. That's crazy. Next, we got Aerodactyl, Venonat, Needle Queen. I need Needle Queen. Dude. You're so helpful, man. I see that smile, Samson. Can we go four for four? We got Dodrio, Caterpie. Do I need Caterpie? We did need it. Every pack had something I need. Thank you so much. Can, can you look through here for something that you want as a thank you? Absolutely huge to pull missing cards out of packs. I'm not used to that. Meanwhile, Camel Kid hands me the big hitters he picked up earlier. So Logan came by and found these two bad boys. Do you have a trade? Yes, a trade. That would be perfect. Speaking of, Samson found the gold card that he liked. Gold Zora? It's yours, man. Thank you. And it's at this point, I realize I've been using the same table the entire time. So I check in with the crew. Is it okay that I'm just like... You can use our table as much as you want. I really Here you go, man. Care. Dude, Owen. You're the man, dude. Yo, check out that handshake again. That was legit. Anyway, Owen and I work together to put all the new pickups into the binder. Logan is calculating some prices for my trade binder. We got a deal going down over here. Steve says one hour remaining. One hour? It is crunch time now. These kids are amazing. This is so cool. It's not just the kids either. I didn't have any English, so I traded some of my Japanese, but maybe some of these guys can help you find some. Are you sure? Uh -oh. Can you help me out? We'll open it. Thank you. Dude. That guy is Howlin' Howley, another vendor who we saw here last year. He just gifted us even more packs to help with the challenge. Bro, Good I love one. you, man. Seriously, this community is awesome. And while I take a quick moment to say hi to a couple more fans, seriously, what is with my failed handshakes during these challenges? Owen instinctively starts opening these packs for me because he knows we don't have that much time left. I mean, he's even using his teeth to speed things up, although I don't know if that's working very well. After a quick autograph, Owen shows me the spread to see if there's anything he pulled that I need. Um, nope, not yet. I check on Logan to see if he likes anything in my binder, and of course he points to the Moonbrion. Yeah, that's definitely not this. That's way too much. I'll trade you for that. Actually? Yeah, I got a good deal on that one earlier, so. Are you serious? Yeah, can you help me open those packs quickly? Here's why this was great. In the world of trading anything, the best deals are those where everyone walks away richer in happiness. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. He gave me a Moonbrion. I knew it would come in handy. Because he's so helpful. It pays to be helpful, so right. be helpful. Okay, I gotta get back to the challenge. Yeah. I'm speed opening. Okay, oh, and grab her. With 57 minutes left and an angry Steve, We've got some time to make up, so Owen and I go ham on these packs. Do you need this? I do need that. Venusaur EX out of a pack. That's perfect. Oh man, we're making a mess over here. Dragonite! Boom! Dragonite. Another hit out of a pack that we need. This is wild. Then David comes back and asks if I need a Jinx. Jinx? I need Jinx, Jinx EX. And that's when this gentleman hooks me up with one. Hey, I appreciate you. Wait, this is the exact Jinx EX that I've been given in every single attempt so far. But this time, I was also given that full art earlier. Could getting two Jinxes reverse the curse? Or does it make it worse? I don't know. I told you, you're gonna make it. You need? And that's exactly what I needed to hear right now because the time is ticking and the pressure is on. And just like that, right at that moment, everyone seems to channel their energy and focus. We're sorting the mess, putting cards in the binder, and this kind woman in the booth next door helps us with the trash. Thank you. I honestly have no idea how many cards we need at this point, but we are making progress, like this wild Kangaskhan that just appeared. And right then, Michael from earlier pulls some heat. Whoa. Whoa! Dude. A Zapdos EX special art rare, which we already have. That's yours. You pulled it, right? You pulled it, here. Yeah, it's yours. I already have it. Great job. Yeah, you're welcome. Good pull. I don't think he believes me. Anyway, with 54 minutes left, I finally get smart and see where we're at. I'm gonna do a count again to see where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 22. Not bad. In our last attempt, I came back from a very long bathroom break with 20 cards left and 57 minutes. I was in a better position last time and I failed. But this time, I've got the dream team, plus the rest of this event, which I'm gonna explore very soon. And as Owen says, Good to be a community guy. Let me open one. Don't be stupid. <laughs> as he proceeds to rip another pack with his teeth. Dude, I love it. At this point, it's a scramble. I search through more cards. I snap a pick with another fan. Logan comes to see what else I need. Yeah, uh, 197. Your body and then he runs off. Then Owen, well, I have no idea where he's going. I add more cards I find into the binder. Golem EX, so 21 left. Then Logan comes back with some good news. That's the one, dude. So 10 bucks for it? Pass. 
Just Are you sure? Yeah. Logan, you are a rock star. Thank you. And just as I was about to clean up and move to a different spot. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Owen, what are you doing, bro? Wait, where did you get those? I just, I just got them. Wait, there. you got one, you got one. We all have one. You got one. What is going on? Okay, let's open it up. I'm gonna make sure you guys get paid for that. Owen is single-handedly not going to let me fail this one. The problem is pulling what we need out of packs now is gonna be even tougher. Yo. You already have that one. I do have that. That's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh no, packs flying everywhere. And I could be wasting precious time right now. Zapdos, uh, I don't need the Zapdos. That, I got that already. No, I don't need those. Got that one already. But then again, I'm with Owen, so you know we have a chance. I go quickly, quickly, I need that, I need that. And then Logan comes in with a big hit. Oh, do you need the Venus or Full Art? Dude, that's oh the God. one I miss. I was missing from the first set. Then this guy comes around and hands me another ETB for the challenge. Dude, are you serious? What's your name, man? Adam was here earlier during the commotion and he said it was because he saw everyone else being so generous that he wanted to join in too. Dude, I love this, the power of giving. It is infectious. I sleeve the wiggly tuff and Daisy's help that someone else pulled earlier. And we pop those and the Venusaur into the binder. Then somebody hands me an Arbok. EX, and then a Magneton. And in one of the very last packs from the pile, Owen comes in clutch with another one. Machoke. Yes, dude, you are awesome. And now Steve, well, he's starting to look worried. 39 minutes left. I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's pretty good. I think we can manage. But it doesn't mean we're gonna get it. It always comes down to one or two cards. So let's hope we don't go home without a win again. That was absolute. Madness. And with 38 minutes left, I have to find the cards I'm looking for. 151 singles. I haven't even had time to explore the floor yet, so I have no idea what's here. What if all the singles I need are gone? I stop at this vendor, and while flipping through a binder, he says this. Everybody's been wiping that out all day. For real? That's exactly what I was worried about. And unfortunately, there's nothing left at this spot. Thank you. On my way to the next spot, I see Logan with a card in his hand. Did you need that? Uh, I think I do need that. Then I realize something. Crap, where did my binder go? I'm flustered again. And why was I looking for my binder in my pockets? That's kind of weird. Almost left my binder. That would have been bad. Okay, we're back. And yep, card 167, the Ivysaur. That's it. So I hand him my binder, and because he knows we're strapped for time, he just picks a card on the front page. I mean, Squirtle for that one could work. And yes, I know that's actually a card from the same set, but remember, we had to start from scratch. I couldn't use any cards I already had. Without even having to move, another vendor comes by to say hi. Hey, thank you so much. I guess the word's spreading around, yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because as soon as I check the binder at his table, yeah? Oh man, they're picking them off? Not good. But thankfully, in one of the next binders over... I got Zapdos, Mr. Mime, Dragonair. I need the Mr. Mime, the Dragonair. Whew. Two quick pickups in one spot. This is exactly what we need right now. Sweet. What do you want for those? Or um, I, we could do trade? On, or On the house. Can you see the selfie? Are you sure? I mean... Okay. Yo, I cannot believe the generosity here. Huge shout out to the shop for real. Bro, thank yeah, you so much, up. man. Thank you Big guys. Hey, I appreciate you. We are close. And just like that, we're down to the final 10. That was super generous. Steve, where did Steve go? Oh my God, Steve. I did it again. First it was my binder and now I almost forgot Steve. Oh man, he looks like a lost puppy. Sorry, Steve. I totally left him. No, don't be mad. I think we could do this. I think we can do this. Over at the next vendor, I recognize someone. Yo, check out who it is. These guys started off the video last year, and we're here. What's up, guys? Do you guys have 151 singles? And after a quick game of charades. A little bit. Over there. I run over to examine what they have, and after quite a bit of time, I found nothing. Okay, we're striking out a little bit now, but that's okay. Steve, where are we at? 28 minutes with 10 or 11 left. Next, I hit up this beautiful display of cards at the Alola Mart vendor, and oh yeah, an entire row of 151. And thankfully, I see one of the cards that I'm missing right here. Can I get that Pikachu? Pikachu? Yeah, from 151. Holy tattoo, that sleeve is sick. Then, as I wait for this person to finish looking through one of the binders. Sorry, oh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, We're... Yeah, you're on time, you're on time right Are you now. sure? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, yeah, I'll flip through for both what of us. What are you doing? 151, yeah. in 151 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, that laugh confirms it. <laughs> this challenge is crazy. While looking through the binder, I spot the regular Mew EX. Oh, I definitely need that. And then right on the next page, there it is. Wigglytuff, okay, we're finding some stuff. And this is a big one too, because the Wigglytuff full art was one of the two cards missing from the last failed challenge, but I still haven't even seen the Alakazam anywhere. Let's hope we do before the time runs out. Then out of nowhere, the binder guy from earlier says this. <laughs> Uh, I do. Do you want to see the trade binder? Oh, you're good. Are you sure? Yeah. For real? Thank you guys so much. 
You guys are amazing. Yeah, Cash, right? That, yeah. yeah. Dude, everybody here is so kind. And as I'm paying for the cards I just picked up, another kid comes and proves it. I have some extra. Are you sure? Yes. More? Yo, thank you so much. I can't believe it. This whole event is here to make this happen. You want to open them with me? Uh, sure. So I pay for the cards, pop in the Pikachu Art Rare, the Psyduck, the Wigglytuff, and the Mew EX. So all I'm missing now is Poliwhirl, Ninetales, Blastoise, Alakazam, Bill's Transfer. Plus, remember, the gold switch in the back. That's six more to go. We are so close. Yeah, we got the Ninetales. You got the Ninetales? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to let you just give it to me this time. <laughs> Definitely not. So I hand over my trade binder for them to check out. Meanwhile, we got some packs to open. Jordan, hook me up with some packs. We're going to see if we can pull any of the cards that we need. And then in Jordan's first pack... Okay. Oh my gosh. Dude, look what he pulled out of that pack. I already have this, so you get to keep that. That's Thank awesome, you. man. See, he pays to be generous. Here, open another one. And then in one of my own packs, we get another hit. I be sore. Whoa. Dude, these packs are stacked. And yeah, that's one for him too. I guess I'm just opening his own packs for him right now, but I'm still grateful for the support. The chances of getting a card I need at this point are slim until... But, dude, I need the poly world. That is insane. Jordan, dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I couldn't believe it. Jordan does the honor and puts it in my binder for me. Jordan, dude, you're the man. Thank you so much. And oh yeah, I almost forgot the nine tails. So nine tails for a penny? Sure, you got it. Thank you so much. And look who's walking up like a G. How many cards do you need? Like five. Owen is on a mission. Owen, can you take my binders back to your to, to your office? What a legend. And as I pack up to meet him back at the office, this kid behind me comes up with a binder full of gold, and inside I see a gold switch. Is that the one from the set? From uh 151? Yeah. Yeah, I need that. I try to negotiate because I do see two switches in there. You can check with them. I mean, and you have two of them. Point taken. Okay. I hope this kid finds me later, though. Anyway, on the way back to the office, Steve says we've got just 20 minutes to go. This is coming down to the wire again, people. Back at the table, I add the last pickup to the binder while Owen lets everybody know what's up. So we got nine tails EX. That's going in. Thanks, Owen. Oh, and remember, the gold switch, too, which I suddenly see out of the corner of my eye. The kid with his dad's cards. He's back. And what was your name? Kaysen. Kaysen. All right, Kaysen's got the gold switch. Actually, it's his dad's. I hand him my binder for a trade, and Dad, if you're watching this, I hope this is okay. Anyway, he finds a terraform something he wants, and boom. We got the gold switch, yo. Thanks, Kaysen. That was a huge help. Owen flips to the only page with missing spots now. The Blastoise EX is missing. Bill's transfer is missing. And like last time, the Alakazam is nowhere to be found. Are we going to lose again because of a missing Alakazam? We got 18 minutes left. Last three. There's no way. You got Bill's transfer? Yeah, I think I do. Yo, no way. Whooper guy to the rescue over here. Look at that Whooper. He's just along for the ride, I guess. What was your name? Toby. Toby. Toby says he might have Bill's transfer for us. Let's pray he does. And when I go over to check... Dude, no way. Toby. That's one of the final three we need. Time is running out. My trade binder is that blue one over there under oh. the white one. Owen oh, hands it over like a champ. And after a minute of searching and a quick calculation, he passes on something. Steve, I can see, is really starting to get worried now with just 16 minutes to go. How about this, dude? A tag team for Bill's transfer? Uh, of course I gotta say yes right now. Sure. Yo, thank you, thank so you Toby. Yeah, I appreciate no it. Two more. Two more. I'm sorry. I'm just, we're so close right now. And as I transfer Bill into the binder, I get this familiar feeling as if I've been here before. This one I was missing in another video. This is my third time trying this. I failed twice. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. I'm afraid to ask, but am I going to have to resort to ripping packs again? Ripping packs ripping again? Packs again? Logan comes back from the hunt. No luck. Then as the boys run off to who knows where. That guy over there has the blast box. Which guy? It's Gwen. Yes, Gwen from last year's Evolving Skies video. Where does she come from? And why is my voice doing that? Gwen, you are my hero. Come on, Steve. Please have the Blastoise. Please don't say anybody else just bought it right before me. And oh my gosh, a binder was already open to the Blastoise in the corner there. Was that you, Gwen? You're my hero. I said that already, but it's still true. Happily pay you for this right now. Or trade if you do trades. Yeah, either or. Okay, let me get my trade binder. Which, of course, I left in Owen's office. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm just leaving stuff. I found the Blastoise, but I almost left my trade binder. I need the Alakazam. We have less than 15 minutes to go. One card. The card. Alakazam EX Full Art. Where are you? The guy's flipping through my binder and I'm glad he's looking carefully, but my heart is racing so fast right now. And when he gets to the end of my binder... Probably pass on the trade. Pass on the trade? Oh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it off you then. 25 bucks, transaction complete, boom. And right then, I see Logan with a card. Could it be? 
Ah, oh, no, it's the Blastoise. I just got it, dude. I just got it. Irony in the worst kind of way. With more seconds ticking off the clock, and Steve, I swear you are speeding up right now, man. I popped the Blastoise into the binder, shake the man's hand, and now there's only one elusive card standing between us and victory. Alakazam EX Full Art. Alakazam EX Full Art. Alakazam EX Full Art. I quickly find the next vendor on my path. Hey guys, quick question. Do you guys have an Alakazam EX Full Art from 151? No. That's right. All good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I go all over this thing and I find nothing but cards I already have. And this is when I start to freak out. But then again, even though I might not finish this thing, I can't help but think about everything that has happened so far on this journey. Not just from today, but from every other part of this 151 challenge in the past. From my first encounter with Steve on the floor of Frankenstein, to feeling the cool embrace of a dirty linoleum floor. To the first time I saw him glow red quad zeros. Then of course, the amazing fans I've met along the way, and the sweetest things they'd even say to me. Are you Pokemon? Are you Pokemon? This series has been, by far, the most fun that I've ever had collecting Pokemon cards, ever. So many people, so many memories, and even though I couldn't catch them all, no matter what, I do still feel like a champion. And right when I was just about to throw in the towel, I see Logan, who isn't holding anything. Alakazam you need, right? Yeah. I got it. Whoa. Dude, I can't believe it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> and of course, I had to give the honor to Owen. Oh, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> We did it! We did it. A challenge that could only be done with the help of this community. Steve, we did it. With 10 minutes left. I can't believe it. And I appreciate you for being a part of it too. And watch out for the next video where Owen will decide my fate against Unlisted Leaf. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, that's, it's gonna be me. You've already watched the video. So you saw me beat the Pokemon from before. Yeah, that's all right then. Okay.